for waitlist settings, we've got the waitlist form link. If I copy that link and then I go ahead and open up a new tab and paste it, okay, you can see the jump on our waitlist and they've got all of this stuff here. Then you've got the settings for expired waitlist message and then waitlist spot opened up. You've got some variables down here. I'm going to teach you how to use them. And then you also, um, these are auto filled in for you. So let's get you booked for an appointment. So if, for instance, your client uh, goes on the uh, wait list and then you don't have a spot for them, they're going to get this email. Hey, you know, you, you were on our wait list, but a spot didn't open up. That's okay. We can still book you. Okay. Give us a call at business phone. So what this is going to do is if you remember the general tab, the business phone, if you just put in one of these and it, you can just press it and copy it. Okay. So let's just go ahead and copy that business name. If I go ahead here and I, you know, paste it. Uh, we do control V it'll paste business name. I can do the same thing with business phone and I can do the same thing with business address. It'll actually fill it in. So it's a bracket with the all caps business underscore address. It's basically like a little bit of code there and then another bracket and it'll actually fill it in. Then you've got waitlist spot opened up and this is hey we've got some great news but you gotta act fast i love using these they work these templates that auto populate in orbis for you work really well um, but you can always change them adjust them if you want and that's done uh you can do anything you'd like okay um very very simple all right um you've got a different a few different things here under all these categories you can bold certain things you can change the colors um undo you know redo and um bullets numbers so you can add up a few different things in here to, to spice it up if you'd like so that is your waitlist settings